where rear end crashes have been plaguing the Schuylkill Expressway for years. And if you do drive to Schuylkill, then you know all too well that the twists and the turns combined with traffic, which often stops on a dime, can be very, very dangerous. And that's why PennDOT says it's installed variable speed limit signs that change depending on conditions. As CBS News Philadelphia reporter Madeline Wright shows us, there are signs the new technology is improving safety. During rush hour, it's always crazy. Peter Caperonis knows the frustration of being stuck in traffic on the Schuylkill Expressway. If there's not much traffic, then it, you can zip right down to the city. So it takes me anywhere from, uh, it could take 25 minutes, it could take an hour. The commute can even be dangerous. 76 had a propensity for rear end crashes, uh, double the statewide average. In response to the problem, PennDOT installed dozens of variable speed limit signs on the part of the Schuylkill between Route 422 and US 1. It's a 14 mile stretch that carries 130,000 cars a day. The speed limit can change from 35 to 55 miles an hour, depending on weather and traffic. PennDOT also installed warning systems and signs to let drivers know how long their commute would be. The agency says during the five years before these improvements, there was an average of 568 crashes annually, but after there were 444 crashes a year, a 22% decrease. We're really proud of it. We have more work to do, but this phase of the system is, is the first phase and, and we're, it is working. The variable speed limit signs and Q warning system are just one part of the Transform 76 plan, which aims to reduce traffic and improve safety on the Schuylkill. It would be nice if there were, uh, you know, just a a uh, better, better ways to make the Schuylkill work. The next phase is widening the highway to create what they call flex lanes, when drivers can use the shoulder as a travel lane during peak hours. It'll be a complex and expensive process, but PennDOT says there will be long-term benefits for drivers. In King of Prussia, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia.